Hi, my name is Pierce Jarrett. I'm the founder of Guan, the AI-powered personal trainer. Um, Guan is a, an app that's on your phone um, and it counts your reps, looks at your form um, when you're working out and then gives you insights into how you perform uh, later on as well. So it can motivate you to, to get fit and stay fit. Um, the term innovation is like a scary word. It's like innovation. Um, so I'm not too sure. I'm always been nervous when associating myself with that word. Before young innovators, when I used to think about innovation, I usually used to think about people like James Dyson, who had like made something like fabulous that was physical. Um, that's kind of the word association that I would have in mind. However, um, I, I think anyone can can really innovate. I mean, if you take something that exists and then you tweak it and make it better, then I guess that's an innovation. It feels weird being referred to as an innovator. Um, for, for me, I'm just I'm I'm, I'm following my passion. I'm, I'm I'm doing what I think is right, and, I, and I'm building a business. To then have that label in a, innovative on top of it um, seems a little bit unnatural. But maybe that's because of the stereotypes of what an innovator being perceived as being in a lab coat with glasses and one of those swirly glass things like swirling around water. Like that is typically the view I get of innovation. And you don't necessarily have to be like that. In terms of diversity and inclusion with innovation, there's, I think there's two big problems. The first one is the talent pool. There are just simply not enough women and people of colour going through the system and learning the skills that are necessary to get into tip stereotypical innovative positions, namely something within in, uh, engineering or AI, etc. Growing up, I never really saw, again, this is very much my personal view, I can't remember an example of where I saw someone who was black being referred to as an innovator. So maybe that's where the disconnect has come from. Usually um, black people will always be celebrated in terms of music or sport or um, their contribution to culture uh, or potentially maybe comedy or someone like Lenny Henry. But in terms of like science and, in, and typical innovation, I, I struggled to really view anything that was particularly mainstream um, back then. Now we have people like Neil deGrasse Tyson, who we can look up to and say like, this is a person who is celebrated as a, as a scientist. And, and I feel like the more examples of people that we have that are like that, the, the more opportunities a young black boy would have to look up to and see themselves in them. That's where representation is really, really important. And not just to, to balance out the socioeconomics, but also just in terms of being able to see yourself in a position and believe that that could also be. I feel like we could make innovation more inclusive for the next generation is by dropping the pretense.